So this just dropped. This is a letter to the British Medical Journal calling for a curb to antidepressant use in perimenopausal women may actually benefit from support of their hormones through hormone therapy rather than just giving them antidepressants. This image was brilliantly created by Dr. Heidi Flagg with Spring OB Gen in New York, but I'm borrowing it to show this graphic representation. In 2002, the hysteria around the reporting of the Women's Health Initiative findings, which have been walked back, led to a massive decline in the prescriptions for menopausal hormone therapy. We were at 90 million and it dropped to literally almost nothing. In the ensuing years, the use of antidepressants in women doubled to 61 million. The use of benzodiazepines such as Xanax almost doubled up to 25 million. And the use of prescription sleep aids doubled. It's absurd that the fear of breast cancer is driving the healthcare decisions for the majority of women in their perimenopausal and menopausal journey. You would think that we would have seen a dramatic decrease in the incidence of breast cancer in the last 23 years since that publication and the fallout from it. And guess what? We haven't. We continue to see about a half percent rise per year in breast cancer incidence. Estrogen therapy does not cause breast cancer. But here, here is where we are. This is women's suicide rates, um, which have increased rapidly since the early 2000s. What happened in the early 2000s? Dramatic decline in hormone therapy. And in the highest bracket, the women who are 45 to 54 years old, the most symptomatic time span of our lives, dramatically increased suicide rates. The next highest was 35 to 44, perimenopause. And the next highest was 55 to 64. I spend a huge amount of my day listening, hearing you, believing you about your symptoms. And it is killing me that we have so much work to do for this alone. You deserve for the last third of your life to be joyous and filled with love and family and, and kicking ass and doing all of the things that you want to do in your life. And hormone therapy is going to go a very long way. But also validating women's experiences and symptoms, recognizing that every single organ system in our body is affected by this, including our brains.